Happy Friday, Tigers. It's April 6, 2023, and you're watching Tiger Vision News. I'm Seth. And I'm Alexis. It's a four-day school week. No classes tomorrow. Perfect. Glad you told me. I think I forgot about being out of school tomorrow. This is a reminder that, as always, FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Everyone is welcome. Now, if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Armstrong Bank, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Zomax School of Music, GNH Outdoor Services, Reaction Wraps, Tiger's Den, Tiny Tots Child Care Center, Bowden Pest Control, Compass Counseling Services, Dr. Debbie Coy and Dr. Kimberly DeRossi, Focus Health Solutions at Fort Gibson Medical Clinic, Fort Gibson Chiropractic, Michelle Mackey at Chenoweth and Cohen, Studio 918, and Walker Family Dentistry. Prom tickets are still available. The cost of a ticket is $70 after April 2nd, $80 after April 9th, and $100 after April 17th. See Ms. Brandon before or after school or during fifth hour to purchase your ticket. If your name is on the holds list, you'll need to clear all debts and return overdue library books before you can purchase a ticket. Juniors. State testing is just around the corner. Testing will be on April 11th, 13th, 18th, and 20th. Make sure to check your emails for the specific days you will test and details you will need to know to be prepared. Intermediate students will be testing April 24th through the 28th. And middle school students will test April 25th and 26th and May 3rd and 5th. Juniors, the school administered ACT will take place starting next week, April 11th and 13th. Make sure to bring a number two pencil and a calculator. Electronics are not allowed in testing areas. The Red and White Banquet will take place next Thursday, April 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. Congratulations to all of our Red and White Scholars for the 2022-2023 school year. Our robotics team is traveling to Tulsa today and tomorrow to compete in the Green Country Regional Robotics Competition. We wish them the best of luck. I've really enjoyed the warmer weather this week. I've almost got a tan. Sure. I'm just glad we finally got a break from all the rain. Let's go to Cooper to see what the weather looks like for the upcoming week. Hey Tigers, after a couple weeks of rain and thunderstorms in the forecast, the weather outlook this week and next looks to be warm and calm with no rain in sight. Today and tomorrow will be cloudy with highs in the mid 60s. The Easter weekend weather promises to be just right, with highs on Saturday and Sunday in the lower to mid-70s, perfect for an Easter egg hunt. Our highs throughout the day on Monday will warm up to a high of 79 and lows in the evening around 56. Tuesday and Wednesday will be partly cloudy with highs in the lower 80s. The weather temperatures are trending up, so with more sunshine in the forecast, don't forget to wear sunscreen. Thanks to News on 6 for this week's weather graphic. We'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. And now, let's find out what's going on here in the fort and around the world. In the fort, all lanes of east and westbound US-62 will be briefly closed tomorrow between Oklahoma-165 in Muskogee and Oklahoma-10 Georgetown Road in Fort Gibson from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. So plan your travels accordingly. In this state, after a series of wildfires that occurred earlier in the week, the Red Cross has classified 38 homes as destroyed. 
36 of those homes were located in Logan County and two of them in Oklahoma County. In the nation, an unprecedented event in American history occurred this past Tuesday as former President Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. He is scheduled to be back in court on December 4th. In the world, as Easter is celebrated around the world, traditions are taking place, such as Swedish children dressing up as Easter witches, the red Easter eggs found in Greece, or the women of Hungary dressing in traditional clothing and wa having water dumped on them. However you celebrate, we hope you have a happy Easter. Seth recently had the opportunity to speak to a member of a local church about their food pantry. That's right, Alexis. I spoke to the minister of the United Methodist Church about their program to help those here in Fort Gibson with food insecurities and what they are doing to help out. In America, one of the main troubles plaguing low-income households is food insecurity. According to FeedingAmerica.org, more than 34 million people in our country deal with food insecurity, and 9 million of those people are children. Thankfully, there are many organizations that help to combat this problem, including local nonprofits like the local Fort Gibson United Methodist Church. In March, uh, SNAP, which are government benefits which had been augmented because of the uh, COVID uh, situation uh, was reduced to families who received help. Uh, our demand has increased in the last month with more and more families coming and seeking help. We have two ways that we assist people uh, in need. One, we have a blessing box which is uh, in one of our parking lots, it's uh, there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's not monitored as far as uh, having to go through people. It's just simply a box where people will place non-perishable food items. They have brothers, and, and we put some things out there uh, from time to time during the week. And if you find yourself in a situation where you need something, uh, you can come by and, and take some food out of the food box and, and that way you don't have to go hungry. Uh, the best way for us to help people is for them to contact the church, and I have to double check the uh, phone number here. It's 918-478-3811 uh, and we will take information about your family, the uh, number of adults, the number of children, the ages, and then we can prepare a box that is tailored for that family of non-perishable food items to help them make it through the month. Though we can't provide everything they might need, we can certainly make it a little bit easier for them to get through the month and have enough food. The food pantry here helps many different people in need and provides just a little bit more stability through those struggling through a difficult time. This is Seth, reporting for Tiger Vision News. Hey Tiger Nation, welcome to the Sports Report. Congratulations to our boys baseball team as they had four big wins in the Fort Gibson Hidel shootout this past weekend. They defeated Sperry 13-3, Oktaha 13-10, Sky Took 14-4, and down Southsaw by run rule in the chance game 10-1. They beat Stigler on the road Monday 4-1 behind an amazing pitching performance by Weston Rouse as he had 20 strikeouts. Tuesday, they hosted Stigler and fell 10-8. The boys will be at home tonight taking on Wagner and our broadcasting team will have the game for you right here on ForkGibsonTigers.tv starting at 5. Our Slopus softball team have been on a big time winning run as they won the Stillwell Tournament beating Spyro 13-1, Vianne 11-1, and Salisaw 7-3. And they took down the number 7 ranked hosted Stillwell in the finals 14-10. Our boys golf team took the links in Tahlequah this past Monday. They placed 5th out of 19 teams and our own Cooper Crawley placed 10th overall. Our ladies golf team headed out early to go to Poria Ridge in Miami. Good luck to our ladies on the road trip. Our girls soccer team hosted 6A Edmond Memorial last Saturday and though they fought hard they lost 4-1. Tuesday, Stillwell Lady Indians came to town and our Lady Tigers kept them scoreless with a final score of 5 to nothing. Our boys soccer took on Newcastle here at the fort on Saturday and defeated them in a close match 2 to 1. They also hosted Stillwell on Tuesday and they took the victory 5 to nothing. 
Both our soccer teams will be in action at home, taking on Poto Pirates ladies at 5.30 and guys at 7.30. We wish the best of luck to all of our athletes. We will be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments, including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and saxophones, pianos, trumpets, violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. Welcome back to Who's Parked Horribly. Today we're going to have some of the most funniest and most hilarious parked cars. And our first bad parker of the day is this Chevy. And it is a Chevy Traverse. Yes, it is. I almost forgot it. Oh, that's bad. All right, so this Chevy Traverse, slick. It's sick. It's a little dirty right here, 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 but not here. But it is parked on the line. And that's why nobody's parked in this space. Because when somebody gets parked in this space, then so we're not going to be able to open their door very well. So here we have an Infiniti QX80 and this is a nice silver truck but look at the tire right there. It's just close to the edge right there. It's a little close to the edge. It's going to jump. And our last contestant of the episode is this Ford F-150. What do you got there Cruz? Well Kaysen, here we got a Honda which is parked on another line, which is straight up parked. You mean it's right next to this Ford? Yes, that exactly. Is disgraceful. That is disgraceful. I am ashamed. Thank you for joining us in this week's- Wait, Seth, you know we have to do it. At least I tried. Hey dad, this one's for you. What's a dad joke, you ask? It's that grown-worthy, pun-laden, can't-help-but-laugh type of humor that dads are best at delivering. Dad jokes are both beloved and despised, but what makes a dad joke different from a regular pun? I believe the signature of a dad joke is utterly uncool. So what's your favorite dad joke? Uh, dear math, grow up and solve your own problems. How long's it been since you've done the hokey pokey? Well, I guess you forgot what it's all about. Those dads got jokes. After listening to that, I would come to the conclusion that I will now need a day to myself. I'll call it Sunday with an O. I'm Aiden Novelet, and this has been Dad Jokes. Okay, now you can. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thank you for joining us in this week's edition of Tiger Vision News. I'm Seth. And I'm Alexis. Don't forget we are out of school tomorrow. Enjoy the three-day weekend and we will see you back here next week for more Tiger Vision news.